Hey guys, what's up, my name is Pete Breaker, and in today's quick tips, I'd like to show you guys how to get a full-blown Linux console in Windows. Yes, that's right, with Windows 10, you can actually get a full, true Linux console in the Windows environment. Now, setting this up is really not all that complicated. First of all, you want to click on the Start menu, click on Settings. Now, in the Windows Settings tab, click on Update and Security, go to For Developers, and enable the Developer Mode. Now, it will clear to you if you actually want to do this, um, because some apps might not be as secure as they are in the standard mode. Once the developer mode is actually enabled, you have to restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you want to open up the start menu once again and type in control panel. Now, click on the control panel and click on programs. Now, in here, you want to turn Windows features on or off. This is usually under the programs and features tab. And in this new window, you want to look for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Now enable this and click on OK. Windows is now going to uh, search for the files that is required for the Linux subsystem and is actually going to apply the changes. So basically install it. Now restart your computer again. Having done that, you're almost ready. Open up the start menu once again and type in bash. Now a window will prompt you if you want to continue with the Ubuntu installation type in Y and enter. Now this will download all the files required for the Linux subsystem to work on your PC and will extract the file system basically creating a Linux subsystem on your Windows installation. Now after a few minutes the installation will be done and you will be prompted to enter a new Unix username. I'm going to use Speedbreaker. Then you will be prompted to enter a password and you will have to repeat it just to be sure you actually entered a correct password. Voila, and you've successfully installed Ubuntu on Windows. Finally, let's create a shortcut for the Bash console on our desktop. So search for Bash and right click on it, go to Open File Location and with Alt drag the link onto the desktop. So this is pretty much it. You can now start your Bash console and start working with Linux as if this was regular Linux. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you is how you can actually access your Linux subsystem in the Windows Explorer. For this, you actually need to enable the hidden files. So click on View, click on Options, and here on the View tab, enable Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Click on Apply and click on OK. Now, go to your C drive, so where you have installed your Windows. Go to Users, click on the current username, so for me this would be Speed. Click on App Data, now go to Local, and now there should be a folder called LXSS. Now, the first time you've installed Linux, um, you actually won't see this folder, so you actually have to type it in. Just click on the top bar, type in backslash LXSS, and there you go, you have access to all of your Linux files. Now, just one cautionary remark towards this last bit here. Um, if you actually do change files in Windows, then sometimes the Linux subsystem cannot recognize the files anymore. So if this is the case for you, then simply don't change the files in Windows. Um, but that has been it for today's video and how to install Linux on Windows. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section and I will gladly help you. But thanks for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video.